Hi everyone, this is Rita and I'm back again today. Um, it is the 19th of August and I videoed uh, this morning um, making this crazy pop pocket and uh, a few other things. So uh, this afternoon I just came back and I was trying to review what we've done already. I think it is getting so full now that we're probably going to have to call it quits because I might be able to get a little bit more, but I don't want this to be so, you know, bulgy that it looks like that. I want it to be able to close well enough all the way around. So, um, I'm going to run through this real quick and see if there's things that need to be done. I can see right here this part, and I don't want to take forever to do this either. So, this um, little booklet I had to put in here needs to have some pages put in it. And I have these little um, scraps, and I thought I would just, um, that's too long. So let me see how I'm going to attach these. I think I'm just going to, I might just uh, sew across the top of that. So let me cut this off so that they're fairly even. Let's just sit this on top of here to get an idea of where to cut. And hopefully it'll cut all these. There's like four layers. And this is just a little added thing. I mean, it's not that, not that big of a deal. And let me see if I can clip the corners on this. Okay. Then, do I want to ink it? Maybe just a little bit on this side. I'm going to get me one of those little staplers, then I could staple it in here. I don't have one yet. But I think if I just open it up like this. Okay. So I think um, my videos they're pretty long. I just get going and I re don't realize how much time I've spent. So maybe I can keep an eye out and not go over 30 minutes. But uh, let me sew this real quick. Get it straight again. Okay, so got that little part. So I took my mom to the store. She went to the Dollar Tree. She needed to get cards. She has like 75 grandkids, great grand and great grandchildren. Um, she had seven children. I'm the oldest of the seven. And then I don't know if I want to put a little eyelid in that. I think I'm just going to leave it the way it is. Okay, so now there's this, you know, they can write in here, uh, crossed here, crossed here. So it's a cute little journal book. And then I thought about putting something else in here, but I'll go back and pick out things to put in if I want to put extra things in the pockets. But that's what just makes it full. So that one is done. Then I've got to go and clip all the corners that I want rounded. Um, actually, this page I still have to cut the trim off. Okay, then that's book page. We've got this little belly band with this little envelope here. Another page, music, doily, um, ledger paper. Then I've got this little pocket here. I still want to make an embellishment um, to cover up the uh, paper clip, but this has got, well, I thought I had a journal. Oh no, it opens up. I don't even know what I'm doing. Okay, it's got this little uh, pocket here. So, hold on a second. I'm thinking this would probably have to be put in like this. So it will open so they'll know what it is. Right? 
That is so cute though. I could still put things down here like a little word or, or something like that to add a little bit more. I could put another card in there, but that's pretty tight right there. Okay, and then more pages. Another belly band that needs to have something put in that. I mean, I guess I don't have to put something in it, but I just feel like I do. And sometimes I will just use a coffee dyed piece of paper and fold it up and, and put it in there. It's another journal page. I know um, in my journals, I have one right now that there's no more paper left, no place to write because I haven't made any more pockets in it. Um, and the, it was in a uh, an altered book, so all the rest of the pages are are print they're not plain anyway and then we have this little guy here little notebook in here that turned out cute after all I think got a tag there to write and then this I need to make a cover on the back of this I may not show all these things um, I may not video every single thing I'm still need to do but it'll give you some idea what to you know this one needs a page in the back and then I need to I, I like Actually, I like this page. I wish I had not uh, spilt something, but this page, this would look good back there. Then, see, I feel like I need to make a pocket here. Well, you just can't make keep making them, I don't think. Um, just too, I could keep going and going and going. Okay, so, then that's Cleveland, the area where he was from. There's another little pocket there. We're still on the first signature. Um, more journal pages. And I may um, mix this up a little bit because I might have too many coffee dyed pages together. Like here's two together. So I may split those up and I have to just separate the whole book and kind of go back and see where it was. Here's a little page uh, with a card on it. I put that on, um, I think earlier this morning after I stopped the video. And that has a paper clip because I think I was um, gonna clip something there, but I glued it in. Okay, so that is signature one and signature two, and I will count all these pages. Okay, this one um, I finished up uh, this morning. Um, we made the uh, little pocket, folding pocket, which was, all my pockets today were kind of a nightmare, but it is what it is. And so then I made this little journal card here. I tied, um, we did this, we put the grommet in there and all that earlier and just finished that whole thing up. I think that turned out nice. That's that um, um, Taylor made uh, journals, her um, wallpaper, paper book page, journal page, music. See, normally I would put something on each one of these pages that aren't plain. But like I said, I think it's just getting too full. Unless I do a whole different cover and make it a regular, you know, which I could do. I could probably cut this, put a spine on it, I don't know, don't make me think that. <laughs> okay, so then we've got this little guy here that we made a few videos back. And he's on the other side also. This is the center of this one, which I still need to put journal cards in there um, and decorate this. Still quite a bit left to do. Um, this one we did the journal card in there. That's the backward. That's the rest of that other half. The one we did. I'm trying to run through this real quick in case there's something I need to do in this video that I have time to do. Okay, so that is the signature two. This is three. And I usually try to put something on the front of the signature, the first page. But I don't know, like I said, it's just getting so full. Unless I divide these up and make 
um, smaller signatures, but I'll have to count the pages. Okay, so this was another one that, remember I made that out of the book page, and then I just put this little um, fabric here and a little uh, stamp and a little card, and then I have a place for more things, and I think I was going to put these in, in there, which I want to sew um, backs on it, so they because these are Tim Holtz. They come out of that you get the whole package. Um, I don't know what I did with this whole package. Anyway, you could buy the whole set from him. And um, I got them on sale, so I bought them. But they're shiny. That's why I want to uh, put a background on there. But I think that'll look good in there. So I need to do that. This one here is a little um, paper pocket. And I put this ship in there, and then I had this little uh, letter, and it's actually um, a copy that I got, a digital. Um, it's from this um, here, Hazuzu, Hazuzu, I think is the name, um, and it's Correspondence Bundle, page two. So that, or maybe it was page one, I just cut that out so I could remember who she was, but her, um, all her digital papers at, on that particular um, digi was um, postcards and uh, letters and things like that because I wanted something like that. So anyway, I stuck that in there. This is the original postcard from his uh, where I got the passport. So it's got stickers and stuff on it. But I noticed this postcard says California, USA, and it looks like a German stamp. So I think he must have mailed it from Germany. But this, unless it wasn't him that mailed it and was somebody else, but it was 1905. So if he, you know, maybe he went 1905 as well as 1922. I am not sure because I can't read any of the rest of it because the way they had it glued in. And, but I'm, I'm surprised I found that on there anyway. And this is what he wrote, Life on the Columbia. So I'm assuming that's the ship that he was on. And I'm going to look, and that says 62005, it looks like, or 03. I think it's 05 because that's the date on the other side. But I'm having a great time. Uh, I'm having a raving, I would say no, I'm having something, time of my life. Anyway, so that goes in there because that's part of him in his history. And then um, I put this ship. Uh, photo these um, captains or whatever they were this came from shabby dabby Duda. it was in one of her uh, packets that was free I don't know if it's still free anymore but it was a, a free download and um, I never did make the journal but that she you know sent for free that was at the very beginning of the COVID um, the COVID uh, uh, crisis I guess um, and she did that just because she was trying to be nice for everybody to have something to do. Anyway, and then I made this journal card here and stitched around there. And that's the little uh, tab that I made from uh, watching Rachel at Roxy Creations. She makes the slow stitching tag. Or she made slow stitching things. I made a tag. And then also this music page edge was getting very brittle. So I took uh, muslin and I had slow stitched this lace on there I showed in another video. And um, I just glued it over the top of the, the page. And I didn't like the word, any the song on this. It says the skaters. And yet there's nothing in here that um, is the wording. So it's just the music, no words. So that worked out. Okay, um, this one I you saw me make that. And then I made a pocket because it was too heavy for this page so I did a pocket here with the postcard and I did some stamping here and I think we did this I did this just uh, today earlier I zigzagged around there and made those two little journal cards and we did this on camera on film not film we don't do film anymore do we I'm supposed to show you my age. Okay, then we had this center 
of this uh, signature and I had put these two pockets on there and so I made two journal cards to go in there. I did that while you were not watching but I just took the a flower I did I mean I did a collage which you know just takes a long time and then I put these flowers on it and a little stamp and a little um, label there and then this one I did this butterfly and I don't know what her name is right at the moment but I have her on my links so if I uh, I will try to remember that and the next time it, we come across it I'll I'll give you the name and then a, a label and that was probably Tracy Fox label but I can't be sure because there's other people who do labels and I just have them all okay and then this is a little flip up here to to write in this I stamped his initials Henry John uh, Bell um, that was also um, uh, what's his name Tim Holtz lettering it's a um, stamp this stamp here and I think I got it on sale too so anyway and it wasn't totally straight but that's okay because this is a handmade made journal then I have this and I put this little pocket here and then I up here put always take the scenic route and um, this one I still need to put a backing on it and punch a hole and got that one done earlier after my long video on making a pocket that I had no idea what I was doing so anyway this is what's left here they're all kind of moved around here there's a lot of them okay so That happens to me too. They slide out. <laughs> Sometimes I've sewed in a, a, journal, a whole signature and left two pages still sitting on my table. I can't believe I do that sometimes. So let me see here. Let me make a note of how many pages are. I'll just write it on this little piece of paper. So this is signature one. So there's one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and that will be seventeen. Whoa, seventeen. Okay, this one has second signature, signature two is one, two, three, four. I don't count those, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, that's not really a page, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and that one. So maybe I can move two or one to this one and one to okay signature three one two three I'm gonna count that three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven okay so the first one I have a lot 17 15 12 so I'm going to divide those all up into equal parts of uh, that's 14 so that's 42 44 pages so I'll divide that up and see how many pages it's going to be for each um, signature and if it's so if I did 10 pages, um, it would be like four signatures. And then um, there's an extra four pages. So that would be um, 11 pages 
per signature if I did four signatures, which might make it a little easier to put in the book. Or the other option is to change this whole whole type of journal. So I just don't know how much I can put if I can put any more in there. Or I can remove some. How about that? But I think I think right now it would be fine. I just need to divide it some more. Six. Six. Usually I have a whole spine that I set it on so I can see. And I have also come to the conclusion that uh, not to make, see I'm going to have to figure out exactly where my spine is going to be and I think it should be right on, I think I had that so that the pocket was not going to be in the way. I think maybe I should, um, the next video and that's the part I hate, but I need to sew in the signatures. So in the meantime, <clears throat> I will divide all this up and get all the pages organized. And then I'll start m marking it for this, the, um, to sew them in. Hmm. I wish people could talk to me so I'd know if I wanted to continue on with the book like this. Because then I gotta, uh, I'll have to, I have to have this all figured out anyway before I put anything on the front. You know, because I just, I don't know what I want to, not like that obviously, it's too big. But I kind of want to put, I was going to put one of these on the front. Now I don't think I like that at all. So the only other thing to put on front is his Kind of getting ready to change my mind about this whole cover. I really. Really thinking about it. I have some more of this part. I mean, I kind of like this color, but I don't like it. Well, I don't know. Or make the whole thing um, going this direction. See if I don't mess up. Now oh, that's going to crinkle it. I was going to say I could do it where this is to the outside. Now. I think that's... I'm going to leave it this way. I just want to put something here. I don't like the edges. So when I do the spine, when I do the sew in, I'll kind of see what this area gives me what effect I get with that and then think about this part 
don't know. I may have to look online and find the perfect. Looks okay when it's closed. This would really be a nice book for somebody who um, just got their citizenship in the United States or something like that. Or history of an immigrant parent or something. That would be kind of nice. All right. I guess that's it then. Um, sorry you're sitting here think while I'm thinking. But I guess that's kind of the process too of putting together a journal. You just sort of have to think about it and... You have to have it in your hands. It's not like I can go in and watch a video and come back and say, oh, that's what I'm going to do. Because it doesn't, it doesn't work that way. Okay, folks, thank you so much for watching again, and I will see you as soon as I can. All right, thank you. Bye.